With campaigning for the September 5th by polls entering the last day today, the ruling BJP and the CPIM are no stone unturned to woo the voters in the Dhanpur and Boksanagar constituencies. Interestingly speaking, exclusively to Northeast Live on the sidelines of an event in Agartala today, CPIM State Secretary Jitendra Chaudhary admitted that the BJP has an upper hand at the two constituencies, which he said was common for a ruling party in any by election. This election, of course, only uh, of the two elections, uh, two uh, 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 constituencies by election, but it is very, very much crucial. But that cruciality is different from the point of view of the ruling class, ruling alliance, and the people of the state. In 2018, BJP IPFT alliance, they got 44. But uh, before completion of the five years, that number was reduced to 36. So now, the, their majority is only by 32 seats. So it is a threat for the survival. So that's why, and that's why, entire cabinet, all their 32 MLS, all their leaders, all their MPs camping in Sonamara in these two constituencies, along with hundreds of their other uh, Shiki Aduli leaders. In last 2023 general election, BJP IPFT alliance was, their vote share reduced to only 40%. 60% people, voters, they went against the ruling alliance. People wanted that a change, but not happened due to the division of vote. But last six months under Dr. Manik Shah, the second BJP uh, state government. It is worse than the previous one. Law and order, totally it has been worse than the previous time. However, he was uh, quick to add that both the Dhanpur and Boksanagar constituencies were strong CPIM bastions and said that uh, late CPIM MLA Samsul Haq won by a margin of uh, 5,000 votes in the assembly elections held on the 4th of February this year. Speaking about the party's chances from the Dhanpur constituency, Chaudhary said Dhanpur has been a stronghold for the CPIM since the 1970s. He exuded confidence of winning it back from the BJP in the upcoming by polls. By election every time, everywhere, ruling party, X, Y, Z, any party. In the campaigning, uh, that is, uh, uh, they get some sort of the advantage there. So here also nothing new. But if we see the history or genesis of these two constituencies, both the constituencies is the stronghold of the left. Bakshanagar, even during last February vote, six months ago, there our candidate, Samsul Hogg, owned by 5,000 margin. In Tipura's context, where the total vote is 55,000, 5,000 margin is a big margin. Maybe ruling party, they have money, they have uh, machinery. They are mobilizing people, but they are failing to win the heart of the people. Second is that Dhanpur. That also another stronghold of our party. Since 70s. Our candidates are winning from there consecutively. Samar Chaudhuri, then Manik Sarkar for five times with huge margin. And during the last five years, what they have done there? Nothing. So now, in one hand, people are very much angry. They are resenting with the decision of the Pratima Bhumik and BJP, number one. Number two, the oppositions are together there. So they are is no reason that in both Bakshanagar and Dhanpur to have any chance for the ruling party. 
Chaudhary, while sharing his views on the formation India Bloc, uh, said the spirit of the formation of India Bloc is very much prevailing across the country, though its action and expansion have not been rolled to every state in constituency because the modus operandi has not been finalized so far. He informed that the Tipra Motha and Congress are contesting the by-elections from both the constituencies on their own and hence there will be an impact of India Bloc in this by -polls. It. That is action, then uh, or its expansion, etc. of the India block. What the dialogue is being taking place now also in Mumbai. That has not been rolled out to all the constituencies, all the states yet. Since uh, the Moda Superintendent, etc. has to be finalized there. But the spirit of the formation of this India block. It is very, very much prevailing across the country and in our state also. Without having any pre, uh, how to say, plan, uh, any uh, decision, CPIM, then Tipura Motha and Congress set together, had dialogue and with regard to this election, what will be their role, they have discussed there. Congress, Tipra Motha, on their own, that is, way, they are very much present in the Bakshanagar and Dhanpur, and they have been campaigning to defeat and to check the division of the votes. So that's why the India, spirit of India block against the uh, BJP, their authoritarian, undemocratic, uh, that is, uh, move. In this election also, it has the impact and it will have very much impact. It may be mentioned here that uh, the Bible to Boxenagar constituency was necessitated due to the death of CPIM MLA Samsul Haq, while the resignation of Union Minister Pratima Bhomik as legislature of Dhanpur necessitated Bible's to the seat.